go see what Stanley's up to. Oh, there he is. What you doing? Hello. Hello. Oh, I was just adjusting the flow here, the pond. Get a little bit more agitation and uh, yeah, get it flowing a little bit more towards the skimmer. It's still a little green. It's been two days of filtering. It's definitely looking a lot cleaner, but uh, it has a ways to go with how quickly these girls dirtied it with the pump being off. What's but all this? This, my friends, is a sod regrafting project. What are these ladies' jobs? They are cleaning out the worms and slug eggs and slugs that are living in the soil. And what I'm doing is taking all these little pieces of sod and I'm repatching them together and putting grass throughout the backyard. And all this sod here is coming from the blueberries because we are mulching the blueberries. And look at that nice, beautiful edge we're putting in. So I went through this handy dandy tool here. And if you really want to make your yard look really sweet easily, put in some nice edges. This is an edger. See, it just has a sharp edge, which is kind of dull at the moment. And you take this and you simply go down the line that you want to take it. So here I just, I cut that edge exactly where I want it. Now, if you want to take it like a step further, if you're not really good at doing things by eye, you can map this all out with some like chalk paint or something like that, or like some sticks or something to give you the line, the path that you want to create. Um, I've done a lot of landscaping, so I'm just doing it by eye. But you see this curves, these curves, these are nice, easy curves for a lawnmower to go around. So you're not gonna have to pinch the lawnmower tight. It's gonna be able to cut right up to the edge and we're gonna put stone below the edge line right here and mulch up to it. And so the edge of the lawnmower will be able to run along that and you won't need an edger or anything to make this lawn look super crisp and clean. So we're going all the way up. You can see I already defined my line. So you have to curve it over here and then we're gonna mulch all of this we're gonna go ahead and cut this bed here from here across and what we're gonna do is we're gonna flow that into here like that and then we're gonna use this to go along here and re-edge this to make a nice crisp edge going right back to here and we'll just fluff up that gravel and pull all the grass out of it it's gonna look super nice and just pristine and what's cool is we're using the byproduct, the sod that we're ripping out, that is actually harmful to the blueberries because they choke it out. It's not good for their root systems. And we're gonna have all the strawberries going in between them. The ducks are getting a food source off of it right now. So they're literally, instead of them eating our grain and everything, they're eating the worms and all the critters they can get out of that. And then the backyard is gonna look super nice once all that sod is laid out and it's not and it's given some time where it's no longer clumpy, the roots can grow together, and it'll just marry really well. So we're gonna do it over here too, right? Yeah. So here what we're gonna do is come off of the edge here and circulate around here, like so. Coming in and doing a nice circle like this. And then coming around right here. You're not gonna, gonna taper it? We're gonna circulate like this because right here I'm gonna put a pole. Okay. And another pole, and I'm gonna make a door oh, out of yeah. pallets right here. That's gonna so look that's nice. why this will end right here to give you that nice, like kind of like running path into it. Yeah, it'll look real good. What do you ladies think? You like it? 